Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and in today's video I'm making mini resin clocks. I got these small clock molds as well as these conch shell molds and a few other things like wash tape and some pearls and glitter from Craftsfire. And I'll leave a link to their website in my description along with a discount code. They also sent me these tubes which I'll be using to put in gold varnish into the numbers for my clock molds. And of course I had to spill a bit since I am always clumsy. So I used this dropper to place in some of my varnish and then just squeeze it out into the numbers. This is a little time consuming but it's a good way to make sure that the gold stays onto your piece. As always, I'll have all the products that you see in this video listed in the description, so make sure to give that a look if you're interested. And my biggest mistake was trying to wipe off the excess before it's dried, which made a big mess. But if you leave it to dry and then try to clean it, that's a better way to go. Once the gold varnish has dried, I mix in my part A and part B resin together. And in today's video, I'm using craft resin. Once my resin is mixed in well, I separate it into smaller cups to add in my pigments. I'll have a discount code to their website linked in my description if you want to give them a try. The first pigment I'm using is this beautiful olive shade of mica powder by Craft Resin. And the second pigment I'm using is chocolate brown mica powder also from Craft Resin. And my third pigment is just resin's pigment paste in the shade beige. Whenever I use a pigment paste, I always make sure to mix the pigment in the container first before adding a small amount into my cup of resin. And I mix in some gold leaf flakes into a small amount of resin to be my center detail. In my first mold, I start off with the olive pigmented resin around the edges. Followed by my brown pigmented resin. Then I take my beige pigmented resin and circle around the mold several times. Followed by clear resin in the center. In my second mold, I start off with a beige pigmented resin around the edge. And then pour my brown pigmented resin right alongside. Then I pour my green pigmented resin. And again, I pour clear resin directly into the center. In my last two molds, I poured them the same, so I started off with the brown pigmented resin around the edges. Then pour the green pigmented resin. and circled my beige pigmented resin several times. And again, I pour clear resin into the center. I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and I'm moving my torch gun very quickly not to burn my resin or my molds. Now I'm ready to start placing in my center detail. So with a wooden stick, I carefully add in my gold leaf flakes. And I'm going to be using my leftover resin to pour into one of these shell molds. I start off with green glitter flakes into my clear resin and also add in these really beautiful greenish bronze glitter flakes as well. I pour it into a smaller cup and into that same cup I pour in my other pigmented resins. And using a wooden stick, I stir it very lightly. Then I start pouring into my molds. And I mixed in my pigmented resins again to pour the remainder into the molds.
Here I am the next day demolding. I demolded a little bit early so they haven't completely hardened and they're a little bit bendy so I place them down straight away and make sure that they're lying flat. I did make a mistake by trying to scrape off the lifted edges with an X-Acto knife and I started on this one and because it hasn't fully hardened, I ended up pressing into the numbers with my fingers and just marked them. So unfortunately I won't be using this one. I use a gold ending marker to add a gold trim on the edge. Then I start to assemble my clock by adding in the mechanism and hands. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.